Welcome back. Today we are in my kitchen. I went grocery shopping for about two weeks worth of food, so it definitely needed to be put away. I like to keep everything organized and clean in my kitchen as much as possible, so that's what we're doing today, and hopefully this can provide you with a little bit of inspiration or entertainment, but let's get into it. One of the very first things I did when we moved into our new house was organize the kitchen and I bought all the bins I needed in baskets and containers, but these bins for the fridge specifically have been a lifesaver. It has made grocery shopping so much easier because I can see exactly what we have right there. Like this one I use for my frozen meats. So I put a paper towel down to catch all the condensation, but I love having this. I know what is coming up in the next couple days, what I have thought out, so I have it ready to go. I use one for my yogurt, one for our cheeses like you saw, and it's a great solution. I absolutely love these bins. I definitely feel like organization materials can be really expensive but like I said these clear containers are very affordable all of the organization stuff that you see in this video I'll be sure to link as much as I can down below um, but some things are more expensive than others but these ones specifically are great if you're on a budget When we were first married, we lived in California for a few years and I would always get our produce from produce stands on the side of the road and farmers markets. And it was just so fresh, so juicy, so good. But here in Texas, it obviously takes longer for produce to make it to the store. So by the time we're actually able to eat anything, I feel like a lot of times it's just not as good as it was out there, which is a huge bummer. But I've found that as long as I go a couple times a week and just keep up with it and we eat it pretty much within a few days of buying it, it's not as bad and it doesn't go bad. So I'm definitely not somebody that has like a bunch of produce in her fridge because it just goes bad too fast. When I organized our pantry, I shared the whole process over on Instagram and I had a lot of questions about whether or not I felt that it was functional. And at least for me, the way that I did it and the baskets that I used made, definitely made a difference. I love these square ones. It's easy to put boxes in. And then even with the basket, big baskets, I feel like I can put a lot of something in there. I have one for bread, I have one for chips. So it's nice that everything has its place and then that way I know what we do have and what we don't. So next time I go to the store, it's a little bit easier. I can just open one of the baskets and I know right away. But yeah, I, I definitely feel like organizing your pantry is 
not necessary. It's just a nice thing to do if you can. I definitely feel that it helps me stay organized with groceries and shopping and all that. So it has effects other than just the way that it looks. It's helpful in other areas too. You may have noticed there are no cans in our pantry. I made the decision to put them in the cupboard right next to our oven and microwave. I love having them there. I bought these little tiered trays so I can see everything. They're hidden and I don't have to look at them. <laughs> longest time I would stay up and clean our kitchen before I went to bed. I love waking up to a clean kitchen, but it was starting to cause me a little bit of burnout because that's a solid 30 minutes taken out of my evening where I could be spending doing something for myself. So I've made a little switch in the last couple weeks and around 4.30 I will start to clean the kitchen. I clean up all the clutter, wipe down the counters, put all the dishes away so that after I'm done cooking, and we've eaten dinner, I can just put those dishes away, wipe down the counter really quick and I'm done. And that way I have a little bit more time to myself at night after the girls go to bed. It's just a little change I made, but it has made a huge, huge difference for me. Another reason why I decided to start cleaning before dinner is because I want my girls to see all of the hard work that goes into maintaining our home. I know that for me, my mom had me do a lot of chores, but really taught me how to clean our house, not just said, you know, go clean this, go clean that. She would sit with me, teach me how to do it properly so that I had those skills going into adulthood. And I want to provide that for my children too. So I'm trying to teach them as much as I can, you know, appropriate for their ages because I think it's important to maintain your home and keep it clean. At least for me, it affects me mentally more than anything else. So here, this is our youngest, Indy. She right now is learning how to load the dishwasher and obviously with a lot of supervision, she's only two, but she now is in charge of putting the pods in and running it with me. So it's just like little things here and there, nothing super crazy or unsupervised because they're both still so little. But by doing these things with them from the get-go, my hope is that they'll grow up a little bit more independent and more capable, less entitled people who didn't just have their mom do everything for them. They had to learn how to take care of things around the home and take care of themselves. And even though it's little accomplishments, I've noticed that these little things are huge building blocks to their confidence and their independence. And that's really what it's all about to me. so comforting and familiar about having fresh flowers in my home. I, I can't put my finger on exactly why or what it is, but having that little piece of nature in our home just feels right. And so I pick them up about every other time I go to the grocery store and I keep them on the island right there where we can all see them and enjoy them. I love it. And if you don't already, you should add that to your grocery list if you can. Because our kitchen is very white and gray, which I love, I wanted to add these baskets to the top of our cabinets just to add a little bit more earth tones. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them yet, but I like them so far. I hope this has helped motivate you to clean your own home or maybe out with some entertainment while you did that. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I'll be sure to catch you next time.